Hi fifth graders, Miss Shames here, and that is the last time you'll hear me say that of fifth grade, unless you re-watch some of these videos, which I recommend. And today we're gonna dive into module seven, lesson 11. This will be our last coordinate plane lesson before our post assessment. All right, let's get into it. So today our teaching point is that mathematicians compare the lines and patterns generated by addition rules and multiplication rules. So basically, we're gonna be thinking about how addition and multiplication rules affect the placement of lines on a coordinate plane. So how are you gonna know if you're successful? What's your success criteria? Well, by the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to identify coordinate pairs of a line on a coordinate plane. You'll be able to identify a rule that describes the relationship between the X and Y coordinates of all the points on that line. And you're going to be able to compare and contrast lines on a coordinate plane in relation to each other and make a connection between their positions on the coordinate plane and their rules. All right, let's get into it and see what I'm talking about. So today you're not learning a brand new skill, but we really want you noticing patterns in the relationship between a rule and what the line looks like on a coordinate grid. So the line I'm starting with, the line on my coordinate plane, is following the rule y equals x. You could also think of it as y is 1 times x. But now we're going to see what happens when I plot these other lines. So we're looking at the rule y is double x. We're looking at the rule y is triple x. And we're looking at the rule y is one half x. And I want you to notice what happens with the lines, especially with its steepness. So I'm going to first draw this line P, y is double x. And I'm going to draw it through the points and then I'm gonna continue it on as well. So we can really see what's going on. Okay. So that is line P. I'm gonna label that. Now I'm going to draw line B, where the rule is Y is triple X and watch what happens, see what you notice. So I'm connecting these points and I'm gonna continue it on. And I'm gonna label this line B. I want you to pause here and think about what do you notice in terms of the steepness in lines B versus line P. And then try to make a connection with the line's rules. So remember, line P is Y is double X, and line B is Y is triple X. You can think about maybe which one is steeper. So you're probably noticing that line B is steeper, and you can think about it because in this one, y is three times x. So the y coordinate is increasing at a faster rate. Whereas line P is y is two times x. So the y coordinate wouldn't be increasing as fast. That's why it's not as steep. Go ahead and make a prediction. You can pause the video. What would the steepness of line C be in relation to P and B? You can also start to maybe look at the points I plotted. Okay, well, I'm gonna draw line C and let's see what happens. Let's see if your predictions are correct. All right. And label this C. So as you might notice, C is less steep than lines B and P. You can notice that they all start at the origin, but then they move out from the origin at different rates. 
stop and think also, are these lines parallel? Well, you know that they're definitely not parallel because they all intersect at the origin. And we know that parallel lines never intersect. They never touch. So these, this is how multiplication rules affect the lines on a coordinate grid. But let's think about how addition and subtraction rules affect line on a coordinate grid. All right, now we're gonna look at some lines where because of their rules, they actually end up parallel. And we're gonna think about why. I get it, why, like the y coordinate. Um, okay, so if we look at each of these rules, here is y is double x, here is y is double x plus two, and here is y is double x minus three. So while they're all being multiplied, they actually end up parallel. Um, watch and you'll see. So I'm gonna draw my line for y is double x. So I'm drawing the line. I already made the points and I'm just putting the line through. Now I'm going to draw my line for y is double x plus two. I mean, you can see I already put the coordinates and the coordinate pairs and I plotted the points, so I just wanna connect them. And now I'm going to draw my line for line C, y is double x minus three. And let me go ahead and label these lines while we talk about it. So here is P, B, and C. So if you notice, they are all parallel. And you might be asking yourself, well, Ms. Shame said if I multiply, then they're not parallel. But the thing is, in each of these, we multiplied by the same thing. We doubled X, we doubled X, and we doubled X. So all of them, what we multiplied by was times two. So that's why the steepness didn't change. If we look back here at this example, we multiplied each line by a different value. So here we multiplied by two, then by three, um, this was by one, and this was by a half. And that's why they ended up with different steepnesses. Um, but here, they were all doubled. But then if you think about it, we can notice that they're in different positions on the coordinate plane. So B is higher than P, and C is lower than both of them. And this has to do with how much we added. So this is um, relating to addition rules. So here in line B, we added plus two. In line P, we didn't add or subtract anything. And in line C, we subtracted three. And if you notice, this really shows up on the, on the coordinate plane. Because if we're talking about, if we look at line P, we didn't add or subtract anything. But then we can notice that each point on line B is two units higher for each point two units higher. And this has to do with the adding two. And then on line C, for each one, it's three units lower than line P. And this has to do with the subtracting three. So you can really think of it as when we multiply by different amounts, that changes the steepness of the line. And if we're multiplying by, by different amounts, they're not going to be parallel. But if we multiply by the same amount, they will be parallel. And then adding or subtracting to the rule will make the line go higher or lower on the coordinate plane. So you'll get some practice today, and I can't wait to see your work in Desmos or in your independent packet.